Hello! Welcome back to my little workshop. Right, this thing here, I built this more than 20 years ago. And it's made out of 12mm uh, polycarb. I was working for a plastics company at the time, that's why it's made out of that. It was scrap bits of polycarb that uh, I acquired. And what this is, you might have guessed seeing the planes about here. It is a, a thicknesser for a handheld um, planer. Now I made this one to match my Bosch. And what it should have, it's got a couple of holes through there and there. There was a piece of plastic on the back here to pick up on on that screw on the back there and they would bolt through there and there to hold it and by releasing this that's on a slope and it was all when it's all fixed together they all slide at the same time let's see if I can get some six mil bolts down and demonstrate that a little better Fred's had it. Now what that'll do for generally getting you the idea. So yeah, slacken that off. There's a bolt that goes all the way through and that'll slide up and down to give you your height. So that's the rough ideas of it. But it wasn't very successful because uh, it was okay on the front going past this foot and you can raise and lower that. But the back one, no matter what I did with it, no matter what position, feeding through, sorry, feeding through that way, it would bind coming out on the back. And if I just had this up just a little bit higher it just you know, it wouldn't go through so I think perhaps what I want to do is perhaps see about taking this salt plate off although that's not very thick Or use one of the other planes I've got. That's got a thicker sole plate on it. That doesn't seem to have any decent way of joining anything up or mounting that. I suppose I could possibly go through there. There's a hole through there where the guide goes. It's an old black and black one. Or well, there's a really, really old black and decker one here. Hmm. 
really old and that shoots all the chips out the front of that one. It's all there, it's well used, but it, this one still does work. Let me plug it in and show you. Bit of a beast. There, it's all there and working. Right, they all work. They all work fine. And I've got another Makita. My newest one is a Makita hand planer. But anyway, this is a project I want to I want to return to this year sometime. I'm not going to do anything about it on this video. This is just a a look into it, and hopefully. Some viewers out there might drop some ideas in of uh, what to do to get this running decently. I think that's a good idea for getting a, the height of it on that carriage. I like that idea. I've not seen this before anywhere else. There might be other videos on YouTube that describe something similar, but I've not found anything. So if you are, drop me a link to them I'll be very interested to see them so this I want to be is a project for sometime this year to have a look at this get either of these planes mounted up on here I wouldn't even I, I don't necessarily have to use this unit I can remake another unit That's not a problem. this is just an idea but I would like to have some system where I can have um, a couple of rollers with a crank handle, I'll do it hand feed and not electric so you can use those as pressure rollers like the normal thickness of planes do and wind it through so your timber can go through so I'm asking for a bit of help on that really that is what I want to do this year sometime so if you've got any ideas of what to do, any suggestions of anything to do something like this, please let me know. And hopefully we'll come up with a very useful tool for a or a attachment, planar attachment for a small workshop. I mean I don't really need it, I have um, a larger planer. Let me dip out. I have this. Let's get you a better view. So I have that machine there that does me very well as a thicknesser and planer. And it's just a low end one, was it? Charmwood. It's not bad, mate. It's alright, it does me well. So that's that I've got. So if you've got any suggestions on this, let us know. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again. Cheerio.